How to File ISF for Channel Letter Bending Machine If you're involved in the import and export industry, you're probably familiar with the complexities of customs clearance. One crucial aspect of this process is the Importer Security Filing, or ISF. In this video, we will guide you through the steps involved in filing an ISF for a channel letter bending machine. The Importer Security Filing is a requirement by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all goods being imported into the United States. Essentially, it is a pre-arrival data set that needs to be transmitted to CBP at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto the vessel bound for the U.S. port. Before starting the ISF filing process, ensure that you have all the necessary information at hand. This includes the customs entry number, the HTS code, the shippers and consignees information, and additional details like invoice numbers and container numbers. To make the ISF filing process smooth and accurate, it is advisable to work with a licensed customs broker. They will not only guide you through the entire process but also ensure compliance with CBP regulations. The next step is to complete the ISF form accurately. Provide all the required information, including the manufacturer or supplier details, the bill of lading number, the country of origin, and a detailed description of the channel letter bending machine. Once the ISF form is completed, it needs to be transmitted electronically to CBP through an approved platform such as the Automated Broker Interface ABI. Your customs broker will handle this transmission on your behalf. After the ISF data is transmitted, it's important to monitor its status. You can track the progress of your ISF filing through the CBP's Automated Commercial Environment ACE, portal or by communicating with your customs broker. In case there are any discrepancies or changes in the information provided, it is crucial to address them promptly. Work closely with your customs broker to ensure that any amendments or updates to the ISF data are made correctly and in a timely manner. Filing an ISF for your channel letter bending machine offers several advantages. Firstly, it helps CBP in enhancing supply chain security by identifying potential risks and determining which shipments require further scrutiny. Secondly, it allows for effective risk assessment and resource allocation. Lastly, compliant ISF filing prevents unnecessary delays, potential penalties, and, ultimately, helps in maintaining a smooth customs clearance process. It's important to note that when filing an ISF, a customs bond is required. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures the payment of any duties, taxes, and penalties associated with the imported goods. Having a customs bond in place is essential for smooth customs clearance and compliance with CBP requirements. Filing an ISF for your channel letter bending machine is a crucial step in ensuring compliance with CBP regulations and maintaining a seamless import process. It is highly recommended to work with a licensed customs broker who can guide you through the ISF filing process and provide expert assistance at every stage. Thank you for watching our video on how to file an ISF for a channel letter bending machine. Stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage, customs bonds, and international trade. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with upcoming content. Disclaimer note below. Happy importing and see you next time.